Goosebumps is rated West. Because it may be too spooky for kids. Okay, folks, I finally read The Ghost of Slappy. And, oh my gosh, what the freaking, oh my gosh. I would admit, I guess it most likely is good because I'm torn and I'm like, oh my gosh, what the f-? It's like, oh my gosh, what the f-? <laughs> So many things and so many issues, like for instance, in the book, which I don't want to touch it anymore. I'm pretty sure I swore I heard him say on weekends we actually go horseback riding and then in the party he says how this is his first time going to go on horseback and I'm like but you just said on weekends you horse that's just one thing that really devastates this whole entire thing it's like if you remembered you said that then how about instead to actually make it look like it truly was him instead of this is his first time riding how in the world does this work? Not to mention the fact of the dad has to pay for damages. So let me see. The cake got destroyed. Okay. The DJ booth got a little bit destroyed. The stable might have got destroyed, but I doubt that. I think it was fine. It just got a little gashed, meaning you just need some more wood. There was really no actual real damages that's happening. More than anything, it's like, Carlos, he told you what happened. He told you what happened, and yet you now forgotten. Just said that shit. No, it's like, dude, the frick, the frick is wrong with you, man. The hell. Not to mention, you should be happy. You should be happy because if he was wounded or hurt in on your property, you, your parents, will have to deal with that. So this whole entire damage crap right here is like, no, no. It's more the fact of. You know that horses sometimes have issues and crap, so it's like, yeah, you can't just be like, mm, who's riding on a horse? Mm, him. Okay, your parents have to pay for this. It's like, the hell, man? The hell? And the only best part is that Trevor, and oh my gosh, freaking damn Trevor. So, the story of freaking Trevor here, and I know I'm starting to spoil stuff, but hey, we got this. <laughs> the only way how to actually do this good is to actually spoil a bit. So, apparently, Trevor used to be a friend of Shep's, and Shep is the main character. And sadly, at the end of this, he has no friends because Frick Slappy. So, the reason why Trevor hates him is because at one time he, they were playing soccer, he slipped, and the slip actually made it to the point of where he actually got his ankle broken damn and that's why he hates freaking Shep because of that crap and it's like well soccer is very very painful sport be happy it's not a bunch of damn kids like in Haunted Mask 2 who decided to paint a freaking concrete circular object a soccer ball and just make let you kick it given there was no more surgeries that was needed. It just hurt. But just just note, the kids most likely would do that to you. And they will continue to do it to you. Let's see anything else. Um, oh, boy. It, it's, oh, yeah. Um, MJ, the love interest. It was kind of weird that you're just like, oh, she's the popular girl and everything. But the few scenes we see her, she wasn't with anyone except for the lunch scene where it's like, yeah, there we go. And it's like, it's kind of weird. And especially the fact that she reminded me of the girls like, cookie, cookie. And I'm like, yeah, she reminds me so much of it. It's like, mmm, hot dogs. Mm. You you wonder, food is to, is uh, the way to a man's heart. Forget that crap. Food is the way to Mary Jane's heart right here. And let's not forget the crazy crap that the freaking, um, the freaking the, the the teacher himself the teacher oh what the frick the teacher decided it was be funny just to have slappy in front of the freaking bus and he actually read those words yeah um that was a bad idea and whoever actually owns that car that you scraped they most likely will be asking for money <laughs> <laughs> yeah and the kids need a lot of freaking them therapy and it sucks that when it comes to his outburst that actually drove mary jane to say freak you even though again she's a cool kid she's popular 
all he actually had to say was, oh my God, I see Slappy. And everyone's going to be like, oh, blah, 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 like in freaking chicken run. Yes. It's like, all he had to do is say Slappy and they didn't say crap. They were, he was like, hey, did you see him? Did you see him? And it's like, tell them who is he. As soon as you do that, everyone's going to go freaking berserk. Just saying. And not to mention the fact it was like, oh, it's a tree prince knocking on the freaking wandel. Pretty sure. He can crawl up a damn tree to the freaking branch and knock on the damn ass window. I'm just saying you don't know what he's capable of. And yet here you go being like, oh, you're seeing things. Oh, why you're yelling at um Mary Jane here? That's some messed up outburst. And not to mention, he told the principal about this outburst as soon as he went outside. It's like, dude. I thought you just said, yeah, many freaking parents who are angry at you or what the frick you did. If Shep was smart, he would have just been like this. Oh, that outburst, it might have been because of what happened last week. You know, the fact of the incident at the bus. Yep. And slowly turned to him. But like, yeah, he most likely would be like, OK, shut it up. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That was nothing. I'm kidding. It was nothing. OK, it was nothing. I, I made a big deal out of nothing. It's like. He would have backed off as soon as you did that, because I'm pretty sure even though the parents said something, the principal hasn't truly actually gave him the what for. He just said the parents were angry at him. He didn't say anything about the principal is furious. So I'm pretty sure the principal does not know it yet. It's just on him. Now, if they caught the principal, oh, he would be screwed and fired. But since he's not fired yet and only just lost sleep, most likely it's just the parents actually called him. And oh, can I mention Patty? Oh my gosh, Patty. What was their last name? <laughs> Hold on. Let's see. Oh, Moon Mooney. She is messed the frick up. She caused all this crap. It's like Ship had a moment of where he can be like, we're good because he's gone. All you gotta do is just close the freaking garage door. <laughs> And he is gone. Screw whoever is going to get screwed over because it's not really exactly your fault. It's like, yes, slightly your fault. You're the one who put him in the garage. But who the frick actually read those damn words? <laughs> who the frick read those damn words? As soon as she read those words, I would have been like, it's just like as if, hey, look, chief, I, I this freaking potato thing he gave me a ring. I've been like, oh. Okay, take that potato thingy and go into the other room. Go to your room. <laughs> Same exact deal. Okay, well, since you read those words, take Snappy and go into your room. Go ahead, freak you. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, freak you. And then basically, let's treat her like a piece of shit now. <laughs> Slappy's alive. Oh my God, Slappy's talking to me. Oh, really? I don't believe you. Yep, that's how it's going to go down. She's going to get freaked over. And how did Slappy get into his freaking bag? Oh, Trevor. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I was freaking out Trevor. And Trevor was hoping that, oh, something horrible happened to it. Did you? Something horrible happened. And it's like, the frick, man. I'm pretty sure you could have been charged for freaking stealing from a pr freaking teacher. It's like, that was freaking theft, man. It's like, you could easily get in trouble for that crap. <laughs> Uh, this friggin' book, I can't wait to do a thorough book review on the other channel. But <laughs> when it comes to this book altogether, I'm pretty sure that is, even though there's some minor flaws in it, it actually is pretty reasonable. The only messed up part about this book is just the fact of he got a little gash in his head, just a little tiny gash. Well, in the second one, we noticed that friggin' green. Oh, actually, no, it wasn't a slug. It was a friggin' slug. Well, either way. His head got cracked open and we didn't get anything after that. And I'm like, why couldn't this book be the book two, book three, or book two and a half in this? Or it's like, yep, so goes to Slappy when he actually goes against whoever, or he's like, I'm just wondering. And it's like, hmm. Or the fact that he goes against Kramer's yet again. And that'll be cool. Like, <laughs> like, yeah, the scenario of, oh my gosh, and maybe he possessed Dennis and fricks Dennis over. That'll be pretty damn cool to the point of where they're like, oh my gosh, Dennis, you freaking bastard. <laughs> and Dennis has now been destroyed because, well, he was a good dummy. He's good. And yet you freaking screwed him over because you guys think he was evil. 
<laughs> it's like, yes, he turned evil. And it's like that. It's like just a cool reveal. And then eventually, you know, it ends by his spirit getting absorbed again. It's like, yeah, it's like at the end of it, it's like, what's going on? Wait a minute. No, I'm not down here. And because the third book, the guy actually read the words and he got his freaking head repaired. He gets right back into the body absorbed in and there he go. So it's like, that's a cool side story you just did. But instead we chose a brand new one. Not bad. But still, it's kind of, I just can't wait to do a full, thorough book review on this so I can just tear it, tear it up, tear it the way it does. But for right now, I have to wait because there's cake in the oven. Marvelous. Have a scary day. Have a scary night. Hope you enjoyed this exclusive.